Hi, welcome back. It's uh, Johnny Boy, and uh, just want to show you. We just had a delivery from uh, Samsung Supplies from Warrington, and the reason we've had it delivered here today is because we couldn't get a time delivery. And the last thing you actually want is your delivery going to your client's house when they're there and uh, they're not going to get two packs of, of paving in. So we couldn't guarantee when the paving was going to come. So I've had it delivered to my place, and we'll take it from here. It's a bit of work, but. It's secure, that's the most important thing. So if you come closely, I'll, I'll try and explain to you what we've got here. Well, this is an Indian sandstone product, okay? More than often you'll see this as a candle of grey with a ribbon effect. Um, I, I, there's another name for it, some other companies call it a silver a silver grey, I think, or something like that. But what they've done with this is that they, they've polished it, okay? This is honed. This is what they call honed stone. If you look at it, it's very sleek, very smooth, and um, the detailing is really good and if you look on the edge here if you just come closely and you can just see down here where they actually chamfer the edge as well so it takes the sharp edge so that's absolutely fine you run your fingers along that and you're not necessarily going to get you know you're not going to cut your hand at all um, and of course it's all calibrated okay and the tolerances with this from one slab to another slab is within a couple of mils but that's not going to matter so much when you're preparing your own bed anyway uh, that's not so bad um, sandstone well sandstone sandstone has a high porosity value okay that's when you lay this this type of slab it's going to suck the, mo the moisture out of, you, out of your mortar there's no ifs or buts about it and that there is a, a real danger there where you could get delamination with the slab from the mortar okay and if it doesn't delaminate then there's there's also uh, a danger of later on that it can actually delaminate again through the free thaw, thaw, thaw effect. You might not necessarily have any loose slabs when you've laid this patio initially, okay, for the first couple of weeks, but when the winter comes, it will delaminate. If you don't, if you don't put a slurry mix, a slurry primer or a slurry mix uh, on the back. A lot of guys just use SBR, just neat, and that's absolutely fine, but what the SBR will do, um, the SBR will ensure that the, the sandstone itself doesn't suck again the, the moisture out. It's, it's a waterproof, okay? It's not going to suck the moisture out and delaminate in that way because if it dries too quickly as well, it's going to uh, suck the, the moisture out and that's not good at all. So what are the reasons for, for using a priming slurry? Well, there's, there's a couple of reasons. Again, it will stop the moisture being sucked out and also it will help to adhere the slab to the mortar, okay? And that will ensure during those winter periods, those inclement conditions, when you get that freeze thaw effect and you get that hydrostatic pressure, okay, where the water goes across in a horizontal format, okay, it's not going to pop the slab, okay, you're not going to get any delamination with that. So it's so important that you use a priming slurry. Now, there's been a lot said on this at the moment about companies producing priming slurries, and you'll have a lot of guys saying that. Um, you can make your own. Yeah, you can make your own, but you've got to remember is that these companies have spent tens of thousands, if not in some cases, hundreds of thousands of pounds to produce a product that that has some accountability, okay? It's okay mixing up your own, which is absolutely fine if you're consistent with your measurements, okay? And uh, Prime and Slurry doesn't just consist of water, cement, and, and an SBR. There are a few other herbs and spices uh, in, the, in, the, in the ingredients to, to make that cake. So uh, you've got to think about that. So for, for me, have I made my own up before? Have I used my own for, for a while? Yes, I have. But I think that you get a lot more consistency with a manufactured product. And if you just go on Google and type in priming slurry, you'll have a whole host of different products coming up on Google out there. So um, just try and re read the reviews about them and what they think. I'm currently using um, Easy Prime from Aspects and it's a good product and it works for me and on occasions now where I don't want to open another bag um, because I've got a couple of slabs laid down, I will mix up my own and um, so important that uh, you use a priming slurry because 
paving isn't what it was years ago where it was like two inches thick and we could lay it on on sand and a little bit of cement it's different now okay it's just different and i think it's all about belt and braces it's so important that you you tick all the boxes cross the t's dot the i's and make sure you know just for the sake of, of a box of primer slurry which is whatever it costs right you know and you're doing that job it's going to save a lot of hard work and avoid problems at a later date um this project pack will come in four different sizes a two by one which is this one here a, a three by two a two by two and a one by one so there's a real mixed bag of sizes there but don't let that put you off okay and um as long as you don't have a cross joint because if you have a cross joint somebody's going to say it looked absolutely awful and uh i don't you know maybe it does it's sun but that's about taste and uh if you, if you just try and avoid putting the cross joints in any way it does look better just by mixing up and, and not having a straight joint cross joint being where you have the slabs joining on four corners and that, that people say it's a weak point as well but there you are there you go um, that's what we got here um look if, if you're looking for um a supplier give these guys a ring sandstone supplies liz and chris says they're in warrington and their telephone number is 01925 918 978 they're a family run business they're great guys to actually work with so so give them a ring if you're looking for some paving or if you're looking for some advice on what paving they do porcelain paving as well um look um difficult times at the moment and um a lot of people can't get out for whatever reason but if you uh, if you need any advice, just go to the website, which is www.greentoplandscapes.co.uk. You can drop us an email there, or if you just want to send us an email, info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk. Doesn't matter where you are in the country. If you're looking for some advice, or you're looking for some help, or some just guidance, just drop us an email, or give me a ring on 07795-594. Give me a ring. I'm Johnny Boy, and I'll see if I can help you. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you soon.